Hey, it's Antonio again with another Aperture Tipcast. Uh, this one I've got to give credit to Davey Safik, uh, someone on uh, Twitter who follows me. Um, it's a little bit of information about smart albums in Aperture. Um, something I actually knew about and kind of forgot about until he asked me a question related to uh, smart albums. Um, he figured it out on his own, and uh, I figured I would share this tip with you uh, in case you get some confusion and some um, uh, errors in uh, trying to create smart albums in Aperture. So let me just uh, let me go through this really quickly. Um, let me just get Aperture up here. And it's in my dock. Okay, so uh, smart albums are albums that will continuously add pictures to them based on criteria that you uh, set up uh, when you first set up the smart album. So let me just show you a, a sample of a smart album that I've already made. Um, let's see, right here I've got, uh, all right, uh, pictures, picks by different metadata criteria. And I'm just going to open this one up. And I'm going to look at picks by camera model. And you can see here all these little purple album icons with little gear. Those are uh, Aperture smart albums. Uh, I'm going to pick one that I don't think has too many pictures in it because I don't want it to take too long to load. Uh, let's look at the Nikon D200. Um, and there are all the pictures that I've shot with a Nikon D200. Uh, if we go to edit the smart album, I'm going to click on the little magnifying glass here. And the little uh, heads up display will pop up and it will show down here that I have the uh, XF box checked and I'm telling the smart album to look for any pictures where the camera model includes the words D200. So if I shoot a, with a D200 in the future, this smart album will pick up those pictures. Um, it's constantly looking in my library for any pictures that are shot with a D200. So this is a smart album, okay? And so I've got them for different cameras. Uh, I've also got them for different file types. I can, I can sort through my library and look for all the DNG files and JPEG files and NEF files and, and whatnot. So sometimes the confusion comes up when you want to create a smart album and all of a sudden it doesn't seem to be working quite right for you. Like you may create a smart album and it's not... It's not pulling in the pictures that you think. So, for instance, if I go to, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to go to my personal images here. And uh, I'm going to go to my cats project. You can see this is a project, and I've got uh, lots of my cats in there. That's my cat Jones, uh, my late cat Jones. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to, while I have this project selected, I'm going to create, I want to look for all the D200 pictures on my in my album I mean sorry in my uh, library so I'm gonna go up to the new menu I'm gonna click smart album and I'm going to go to the little plus sign and I'm gonna click on the XF data to add the XF brick and I'm gonna click on it and I'm gonna say uh, I want the camera model to include D200 okay and if I hit enter and I close it well gosh there's no D200 pictures in here. What I just, in fact, I just saw it before. You saw it up here um, in the Pix by camera model. I, I had a whole bunch of D200 pictures. Well, how come they're not showing up? Well, the key, and this is what Davey pointed out to me, um, the key is to making a smart album is where you select um, your smart album to be made is where the, the smart album will actually get the pictures from. So for instance, that one I just did, uh, and it was in personal images and, and under cats, I had selected cats and I created a smart album in there that was looking for pictures of the D200. Well, I don't have any pictures uh, in that project that were photographed with that camera. Uh, I'm just going to delete this smart album. Um, in fact, if I select the folder personal images and let's create a new smart album as well in here. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I'm going to say XF data and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to check. Uh, oops, all the way up here. Camera model includes D200. Hit enter. All right, well, guess what? I've got some pictures that are showing up 
in this folder with D200. But look, you know, it's only a small amount of pictures. If we go back to my my other smart folder, sorry, smart album, and I click on the D200 smart album here, now there's a lot more pictures. I mean, it's some of the same pictures, but there's certainly a lot more. So what's going on? Well, again, it's wherever you select the smart album to be made, that's where the smart album will get the pictures from. So in this case, um, under my personal images, I had selected the personal images and I made a smart, fold, uh, smart album inside this folder. And so it's only going to look inside the projects that are within this folder. So if there's any pictures that are not in this folder and not in these projects, it will not look for them. So if you want to create a global smart album, what you need to do, and this is the trick, is you select the, you go to the library tab, and if it's not open, you can open it up, and you can click on all photos, and this is going to bring up your entire library. Now, for me, it takes a little bit because I've got something like 60,000 pictures, but, you know, while that's loading, I can say, I can create a new, click on new, oh, spinning beach ball, here we go. I'm going to click a new smart album, and watch what happens. And you can see it dropped, Aperture dropped the Smart Album in the same level as all these folders. So it's a top level, um, it's a top level album. And now what it's going to do is going to search everything in all of these projects and folders for whatever criteria. So let's just, I'm going to do the D200 again. So I'm going to click on this little plus button. I'm going to click on XF. And I'm going to check mark it so that it, make sure we're looking for the right, XF data, I'm going to say camera model includes, let's go D200, hit enter, and bingo. So Aperture is looking through the entire library, and it's finding all the pictures that I shot with a D200, and that's because I had selected these, I had selected all photos, and I had the smart album create from all the photos. So now, after I've done this, I can take this smart album and I can put it anywhere I want, and it will still maintain the search criteria. So even though it wouldn't be a uh, top level anymore, um, for instance, I could create a new folder. Let's just create a, sorry, let's go here and say, uh, sorry, a new folder. And I'm going to say uh, smart albums. Okay, and I'm just going to take that new one that I made and drop it in there. If I click on it, there are all the D200 pictures, okay? So this is just in case you get stuck making, uh, trying to make smart albums and you don't know why it's picking up all the criteria. And in other words, you realize you've got pictures that are shot by a certain camera or on a certain date and they're not showing up in the smart album. Just make sure you know where you're selecting your pictures to begin with. If you're selecting by a folder, it's going to only look in the pictures that are in that folder. But if you select all photos, it's going to search your entire library. So that's it for this tip cast. Uh, again, I want to thank Davey Shafik, uh, someone who's following me on Twitter for pointing this out to me. Um, and uh, if you have any questions about Aperture, you can find me on Twitter at a M Rosario. So it's A M R O S A R I O. And I'm on Twitter and uh, hope you found this tip cast useful. Uh, I know I did. It was a good reminder of it. Uh, um, and uh, I hope you uh, tune in for some more and I hope this helps you out. Thanks a lot and have a great day.